Tana Mann, and I've been using Young Living for about four years now. And I always tell people that I started using Young Living because I just liked the way that lavender smelt. Um, that's the only reason why I got my starter kit. I had no idea the awesomeness that was being delivered to my door. And then all of the oils that came in my starter kit, um, basically I just dove into them asking all the questions. And from that starter kit, I started learning about all of the um, things that were in my products in my home. So that's what led me to learning about thieves. And the thieves essential oil blend is the first thing that I got thieves product wise. Um, and using that to just support my immune system, things like that really hooked me on the smell. I loved it. And so when I learned about the products in my house, plus loving that smell of that oil, I was so excited to get all of those, um, house cleaning products. So I have a really fun, um, let's see, I want to make sure that y'all can see this. Um, give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Anybody? Yay. Okay. Awesome. So starting, uh, about learning about our class. So this is going to be a quick, quick, easy guide to using clean, clean based products. In your house. So we have the, um, Premium Starter Kit, the Thieves Premium Starter Kit. Now, know that there are way more Thieves products that you can look into as well, but these guys are like the bang for your buck, and um, they are so awesome. They're staples. I use every single one of these products probably daily. So, natural products. Why should I use them? A lot of people ask me that. Well, why can't I go to the grocery store and get this or that? Well, health and wellness is on the rise and many products are coming out saying that they're green or that they're safe. They have clean ingredients. And unfortunately, with the way that things are labeled, you kind of have to start digging into that ingredient list. And most of the time you're going to discover there could be chemicals inside those products when they claim that they're safe and things that can cause havoc on your body. They can mess with your endocrine system. They can cause allergies. They're known carcinogens. Um, lung irritants and let's be honest that's not something that we want and um there's things like formaldehyde phthalates vocs sls triclosan fragrance and more and those things are harmful to your body so we don't want those things and sometimes i kind of feel like i had to be a um, detective in order to figure out what those things were and i'm not a scientist so i didn't want to have to figure those things out so how do we fix that problem? How do I figure out how to get rid of those things without having to be a scientist or a detective? Well, that's where Young Living hit the easy button. And I like the easy button. I think most moms like the easy button. So the Thieves Household Products. You won't find any of those phthalates, any of those um, endocrine disruptors in the Thieves cleaning line. And they offer everything that you need for your home. And the best part is, is that it's going to come right to your door. You're not going to have to go get anything and you can order it when you want and what you want. Um, I saw somebody raise their hand. Uh, let's see. It doesn't tell me who raised their hand. If you have a question, feel free to type it in the chat. Okay. Or just ask on here. Okay. So let's talk about the thieves blend. In the Thieves Blend, it's like the base, it, the base of all of their um, cleaning products. It has oils that are like cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, rosemary, lemon, clove, and all of these oils are super awesome. There's a great place that you can look um, up scientific studies on these oils. If you go to PubMed, you can go to PubMed and just type in cinnamon bark essential oil. And just look at all the science that um, backs up how great these oils are. Same thing with lemon and eucalyptus and rosemary and um, uh, clove. So another, another thing about the Thieves Blend is that it's backed by our seed to seal guarantee. So sometimes people say, well, what's seed to seal? Well, it's essentially Young Living's guarantee that you're getting the best product that they have that you can get the highest quality essential oils and then their naturally derived ingredients. Um, some of their, just some of their um, expectations and guidelines that they follow is that the plant material is grown on corporately, corporate owned farms or um, partner farms that you can always visit. 
They have sustainable farming. Um, great care is taken of all of these. Everything is done by hand when they're weeding the fields, no pesticides. And a lot of the things that they do are above organic. So there's not really any other company that I know of that does those kinds of things. And the testing that they do on all of their products before they ever ship it off to you, it's done by third party. And it, um, the testing that they do is super rigorous. And if it doesn't meet all their standards, it's gone. It doesn't ever make it to your doorstep, which I like that guarantee. That makes me feel good about what is coming into my house. I know that I can trust this business. There's not a lot of businesses out there that say, hey, look at me, I'm open door, come, come and see, you know? And as a consumer, we should be able to do that. So the seed to seal guarantee is what Young Living does for their customers. So now I've kind of given you background about Young Living, but let's talk about those products. These are the most important things that I use in my house daily. First and foremost, the Thieves Household Cleaner. This is what I use on everything. I've never brought bleach into my home, um, any other kind of cleaner that you'd go buy at the grocery store. I've never brought that into my home. Um, I am proud of that. And that's because I am really a big advocate for clean products being in my house. I have a dog and I don't wanna spray, you know, harmful chemicals on the floor and let him, you know, walk around and, I kind of use them as my vacuum sometimes, so I don't want him to be looking up the food when there's something bad on the ground, right? So it's a plant-based, ultra concentrated, so it's diluted, and it can be used on things like your kitchen um, cabinets, your um, granite countertops, your sink. I actually, um, my, um, uh, my sink, faucet had some gunk on it today and I just poured some household cleaner into a glass cup and I let it sit in there for about five minutes and whenever I pulled it out I just wiped it clean with a um, paper towel and it was gone and so it works really really well on things like that it's safe for kids and pets and whenever I said ultra concentrated that means that you can dilute it so you take like a 16 ounce glass bottle, get it on Amazon, um, super, super cheap. And you put two capfuls of that bottle into your glass bottle and fill the rest with distilled water. So when you're kind of doing the math, um, one bottle of Thieves Household Cleaner is 14 ounces. And um, whenever you use two capfuls, now, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, no, I did write it down. You can make 28 spray bottles at home. So that's essentially like going and buying 28 bottles of cleaner at the grocery store. So if you think about it, this Thieves Household Cleaner is so concentrated and you end up making 28 bottles off of the one bottle that you buy from Young Living. Super awesome. It's great. I love it. I use it on everything. Thieves Hand Soap. Let's talk about this. So hand soap, I feel, is a big topic right now. Everybody is wash being, you know, way more um, aware of washing their hands, which is great. But you want to make sure, guys, that the things that you are consistently and constantly using are really doing good for your body. So remember the some of the chemicals that I talked about were triclosan and SLS. Excuse me. So SLS stands for sodium lauryl sulfates. That's usually what causes the, foam, um, the soap to foam. It's that chemical reaction that when you put it on your hands and you're rubbing your hands together, it's foaming. Well, Young Living didn't wanna put that in their product. So they were really smart whenever they made this hand soap, they put it in a pump. So that way, whenever the pump pulls up the soap, that is what's going to cause it to foam. So it's really great because you still have this super foamy hand soap and it's really light and airy and you're still getting that effect that everybody loves of that hands of that foaming soap. Triclosan, um, this is com um, directly linked to endocrine disruptors. And when I say endocrine disruptors, I honestly feel like every woman should uh red light should kind of go off in their head and go wait endocrine disruptors like my endocrine system is really important we've got our thyroid you've got 
your hormones, I mean, women's hormones, you know, we all ride the hormone train. So I don't want anything else to cause problems to me. And um, if you are consistently every day pumping triclosan or SLS onto your hands, be mindful of that, right? So um, we don't want to wash our hands with that. So let's talk about using the Thieves hand soap. In this picture is the Thieves hand soap, but also the hand soap refill. In that refill, you get at least four, probably five bottles of hand soap out of that. And me, I dilute it. So I will fill up my bottle of the pump about three fourths of the way and then fill the rest one fourth with um, distilled water. And um, that way it kind of lasts me a little bit longer because all of their products are pretty ultra concentrated. It has a great lather and rinse. And also the bottle is really elegant. Um, it is really complimentary to your kitchen and your bathrooms. People always talk about how they like it because it's not, um, it's not kind of like a wild color and it makes them um, excited to use it because of the oranges and the cinnamon on there. So really, really great hand soap. And Thieves hand sanitizer. Lori and I were kind of talking about this, I think maybe before we started recording, but um, the great thing about Thieves hand sanitizer, <clears throat> it will not dry out your hands. I think that a lot of people are using so many hands, uh, hand sanitizers so much, they're actually, there have been studies shown that if you use that much hand sanitizer and your hands start to crack because the alcohol can be drying it out or something else in that hand sanitizer, you can get cracks in your hands and then you can get infections inside those cracks because if you think about it, your hands are touching everything, right? That's why we wanna keep them clean. Well, um, you can easily get infections in the cracks of your hands. Um, even if you're not touching something all the time, we're moving our hands so much. And if you have a crack or a cut in your hand, it can just be irritated. The perfect thing about this hand sanitizer, guys, is it's so smooth and creamy that it has not cracked my hands. I have not had dry hands at all, and I love this hand sanitizer. I keep it everywhere. I'm a teacher and I keep it on my desk. I keep it in my purse. The great thing about these is that they're one ounce that come in the starter kit and you can throw them in your purse and your kids' backpacks. If you have kiddos going back to school, this would be perfect for them. Know that you can give them a hand sanitizer that's not gonna harm their skin, that's not gonna um, put off a perfume or a fragrance that's gonna be irritating to their lungs. Um, but it's also going to be killing off those harmful germs and bacteria. Um, it does not contain petrochemicals, parabens, phthalate sulfates, synthetic chemicals like um, some of the other hand sanitizers do. I'm going to check this chat really quickly to make sure that it's coming up and it's not. So I think Vanessa, I think you're on here. Vanessa, if you wouldn't mind, or Amy or Lori, um, answering in the chat for me. Okay, I, next. V? Yeah, I was just going to say, I'll definitely watch it for you. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, let's talk about Thieves Spray. Thieves, I call it the Thieves on the Go Spray. It's not technically called that, um, but to me it is. It's a one ounce bottle. It's the same exact size as that other Thieves hand sanitizer that comes in this starter kit. And it is my best friend right now going into those public places when you're not sure about where things have been. You've got your hand sanitizer for your hands, but what about um, the things that you're going to touch? Um, to me, you know, when you walk up to the grocery store and um, they're having all those sanitized carts, um, me personally, I go and spray it. I spray the cart down. Um, you don't have to after they have sanitized it, but I would rather sanitize with my cleaner. And so um, this is great because I have seen a lot of people complaining about what they are using on those carts to sanitize them. Um, some people have talked about, you know, after they're grabbing on the car or they lean on it, that their skin is kind of getting itchy, things like that. 
this thieves on the go spray would be perfect for those situations whenever you're not sure how it's been sanitized and you want to do that um doorknobs and um, handles to doors um anything like that i also use this when i go to a restaurant and i just spray the table down really quickly I honestly don't worry about if I have something to wipe it down. I'll just let it sit there. It doesn't matter if my hand goes and touches it and then goes in my mouth. It's not going to hurt me. So it is a perfect on-the-go spray. It's safe for on kids and pets. No harsh fumes. And like I said, it doesn't require rinsing after, other, um, after you use it. So um, something that was crazy to me is that I learned that some cleaners – tell you to clean with the product and then to wait a minute and then go back with water and wipe it down. I don't know if you'd ever noticed that, but um, the reason why uh, companies say to do that is because they know that their product can be a skin allergen. It can be a lung irritant. Um, it can irritate your allergies, things like that. So they truly don't want your skin touching it. So on the directions, it'll say clean and then rinse or clean and then wipe down afterwards. You don't have to do that with Thieves, which is a great blessing. Um, this on-the-go spray is in my purse at all times. <laughs> the Thieves toothpaste and mouth mouthwash. So this is the very first thing that I bought from um, ditching all of my chemically laden products and switching them to safer things. And I'll tell you why. In 2014, I had to have my thyroid completely removed. Um, I, this was before I had been introduced to Young Living products and I got a benign tumor, or actually it's called a goiter. My thyroid just completely um, went kaput attacked my body. I got an autoimmune disease. It was just a train wreck, right? Well, later on down the road, I was learning about some of the things in my products and I came across fluoride. I have learned some crazy things about fluoride and how it is directly linked to thyroid disorders. And one thing that just baffled my mind is that th uh, fluoride is found in our water, it's found in our toothpaste, and it can be found in things that are going in your mouth and your thyroid is so close to your mouth and i just was so angry why hadn't somebody told me this you know and um i go to the dentist and the dentist says let's clean your teeth with fluoride um so i even though i do not have a thyroid anymore i knew i did not want fluoride it had already caused some problems, or in my opinion, I, there's no way to truly link it anymore, but if it had been linked to thyroid disorders, what else could it be linked to? So that Thieves toothpaste is my favorite thing. I've been using it for two and a half years, and I have not gone without it. My husband, when we got married, he moved over to Thieves toothpaste, and he does not go without it either. He loves it. Um, a great thing about that toothpaste is after you have been using it and you feel like that bottle is empty, I always cut off the top and I scoop out what is still left in there. So if you are using that Thieves toothpaste and you think, oh my gosh, it's out, a little hack for you is to cut off the top and you can scoop out on your toothbrush <laughs> what is left in there. Um, another thing is that mouthwash. Y'all, the mouthwash is... It is so invigorating, invigorating. So it is, um, it has touches of spearmint and peppermint in it. And whenever you use it, it only takes like a tiny bit. So some people really like to do just a little bit and then put a little bit of water in there from their sink and mix that and swish that around. Um, I promise you, you've never felt a mouthwash clean like this one does. And the great thing about it is there's no alcohol in it. It doesn't say on the back, do not swallow. If you swallow, call poison control, which some other mouthwashes, unfortunately, do. So it is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. That mouthwash will last you a long time. And last but certainly not least is the Thieves Essential Oil Blend. So this is what all of these cleaning products are based off of, of what we've been talking about. Um, but I have to give so much credit to just the essential oil by itself. 
you can use this for so many things. And this is like what I said in the beginning of class is what kind of led me into loving the cleaning products. It is exclusive to Young Living and I see a lot of people asking about it. A lot of people know about it even if they're not using Young Living and you can't find it anywhere else. <clears throat> I love to diffuse this in my classroom with orange mixed together, um, especially during the winter months. And I keep it right by my desk. I also love to rub one to two drops on my chest, on the back of my neck, or on the bottoms of my feet daily. And um, I also kind of mix it with a few different oils every now and then, like some lemon or Melrose um, to kind of mix up the scent. And then also you can use these Vitality in a wellness tea, which is so wonderful during those winter months and it's cold outside. Um, I do recommend though taking a toothpick and dipping it in the oil and then stirring your tea with the toothpick because otherwise it might be a little too spicy. Um, and then you can also put it in a veggie capsule with some olive oil. It is perfectly fine to consume the Thieves Vitality because um, the FDA has approved and said, yes, you can consume this oil. And so um, get those veggie capsules from Amazon that come apart. And if you're kind of feeling under the weather or um, you just kind of want to use it for maintenance, put one to two drops in there, pour some olive oil in there, close that veggie capsule up and take it. And that would be so awesome for your immune system. It's great support and um, that cinnamon bark is pretty strong. So that's why you want to make sure that um, you're going to take it in a veggie capsule or you use the toothpick to um, stir your tea. So I know that it could have just been like a fire hose <laughs> of information just coming straight at you. So I want to wrap it up and then I want you to ask some questions because normally in, in classes, I want you to ask questions. I want to talk back, forth, back and forth with you. And there's no silly question. There's no question that you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so happy to answer anything. So all these products come in one easy and convenient package. You can order just this package and it'll be shipped right to your door. So it's a perfect way to start switching to cleaner products. So before we start with Q&A, I just want you to, once we get off this call, go talk to whoever invited you and ask them, how do I get these products? What's the easiest way for me to get these products? There's also a lot of different options. You can get this whole whole package or you can buy a, like a basic starter kit that's only $35 and you're like, well, I think I just want the cleaner for now. Add on just the cleaner and then get on Essential Rewards and next month you can add on the hand soaps and the mouthwash. It's totally up to you. That's what's great about Young Living is that you can do it however you want to do it. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you all of these things, but also I want to open it up now for questions. So does anybody at all have any questions? Go ahead, unmute yourself and ask away. That was so great. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Um, can we unshare, stop sharing the screen and we can see everybody's face? Yes. Thanks. Perfect. I, there are a couple of people who have asked for um, the slide presentation. I know you probably worked really hard on it, so I'm not going to put you on the spot with that. But No, I will it. totally send it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, if you want to um, put it on uh, Green Diamonds, that might be the easiest way to, to yeah, share yeah. it. And then you don't have to send it individually. They're clapping. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, it was really good. Awesome. I know I feel like I was, like, just shoving – um, info down people's throats. So I want them to know that if they have any questions that I am free and all of us are free for questions. Yeah, um, no, it didn't feel like that at all. It felt very, very easy to understand. Um, I'm just going to check the chat for you real quick. Nina, you said you run Thieves and Orange in your shop on Free Diffusers. It keeps the air clean. Yes. Yeah. So there are PubMed, guys, if you go to PubMed and you look up like the benefits of um, cinnamon bark and clove, the, um, the studies that are shown on air cleansing properties are amazing. And um, 
they took tests of, you know, what was lingering in the air before and after and things like that. Um, reading for yourself will just be mind blowing. So I totally, I definitely want to encourage you guys to just go to PubMed and look up those essential oils. Super awesome. Recently have used Thieves dishwasher cleaner to wash my pots and pans. It's been amazing for getting off the grind. Awesome. I love that. I used it for cleaning my oven also. And oh, it works yeah. really great. Because yeah. everything gets caked in It's a there. good little scour power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then I use, I use uh, the Thieves Household Cleaner and baking powder um, and lemon to get the um, mold was growing in the grout in a section of my shower. And I scrubbed it with that <laughs> and it came right off. Go to where to look up the benefits. PubMed, I'll type it right here. PubMed is an awesome source. It's actually a government website, but it's where people post studies that they've done, scientific studies. And so you can go and research just about anything. You can put in the cancer word, you can put in, you know, that word and essential oils. And it's not all specific to Young Living, but just it is different studies that have been done on essential oils and different ailments. It's a really, really great. Yeah. Can you put essential oils in your thieves household cleaner to help with bugs in your home? Yes. The biggest oil that I would say that you could use for bugs um, in your home is peppermint or spearmint. Um, a lot of bugs like roaches or, um, you know, b bugs like that hate um, ants. They hate the smell of peppermint and spearmint. So those are perfect. I, I always add essential oils into my thieves household cleaner if I'm using it for a specific purpose. Um, so like, um, one time I had, um, a, a pantry moth problem because they came in in the flower that I got. And whenever you look up pantry moths, the biggest thing it says to use is like peppermint essential oil and vinegar. And it did the trick. It was great. <laughs> reference. I use the pocket reference. I get this on Amazon. It's like 17 to $20, I think. There's also a bigger one. And in here, you can look up the book that you're trying to get away and it tells you what oil. I, we do peppermint a lot, um, sometimes cinnamon. Uh, but I will take just a spray bottle of water and several times a year, a year I'll go around all my door frames, my door jams, I'll spray it sometimes in the backs of closets for silverfish and stuff like that. Um, but in the past few years, I've been using it in my house plants and in my garden because you know how when your soil gets moist, you get some of those little gnats and things that like the moisture. So I will take um, digize, digize actually and water it smells kind of rough so you can add some peppermint to it if you're spraying it in the house but it it helps your garden and your plants grow it keeps bugs away you can mix and feed household cleaner with it i know vanessa does that and it it really is a natural pest deterrent so really good and i just we've we've had we've been using young living for 11 years so we've been using thieves products for 11 years we haven't had the inside of our house exterminated in that amount of time we only had sometimes the outside maybe like once a year, maybe. Um, it, and I really just think because we are always diffusing and we're always cleaning all of our surfaces with these household cleaner, it just keeps them at bay. People who need a little more oily goodness in their life. So I appreciate you guys all joining us tonight. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Tina. Of course. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>